and we begin by playing the Easter bells from the Benedictine nuns in Avignon and we greet you on this very special solemn occasion where we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus the Son of God and we begin by lighting our Easter candle for peace for global peace and for interspiritual unity between all faiths and none. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother God, who creates life, in the name of the risen Jesus, the Cosmic Christ, who loves life, in the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia, who is the Earth Mother that nurtures the creation of all life. In the name of all faith traditions and none, for they are the sons and daughters of divine life. We celebrate our spiritual diversity by honoring the Supreme in all life. And now we begin our Office of Lords the first office of this day and the office is taken from the Psalter the divine office the Lord has truly risen Alleluia Alleluia O God come to my aid O Lord make haste and help me glory be to the Father Mother God to the Lord Jesus Christ our teacher to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the hymn this morning, Bring, all ye dear-bought nations, bring, Alleluia, your riches praises to your King, Alleluia, that spotless Lamb, who more than due, Alleluia, paid for his sheep and those sheep you, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. That guiltless son who bought your peace, Alleluia, and made his father mother's anger cease, Alleluia. Then life and death together fought, Alleluia. Each to a strange extreme were bought, al brought, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We, Lord, the faithful hearts and voice, Alleluia, on this thy rising day rejoice, Alleluia. O thou power, whose power o'ercame the grave, Alleluia, by grace and love, us sinners save, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And the first antiphon of Easter Sunday morning, Christ has risen. He is the light of his people, whom he has redeemed with his blood. Alleluia. And now we have the psalm, and it is Psalm 62. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like the dry weary land without you, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory, for your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life in your name. I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. My right hand holds me fast. And now we pray together the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the first anthem. Anthem, Christ has risen. He is the light of his people, whom he has redeemed with his blood. Alleluia. The second antiphon, Christ our Redeemer, has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn to the Lord our God. Alleluia. And now we have the canticle reading of the prophet Daniel. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you, the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord, and you clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord. And you all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you sun and moon, O bless the Lord, and you the stars of the heavens, O bless the Lord. And you am and you showers and rain, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you all you breezes and winds, O bless the Lord, and you fire and heat, O bless the Lord. And you cold and heat, O bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you showers and dew, O bless the Lord. And you frosts and cold, O bless the Lord. And you frost and snow, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you night time and day, O oh, bless the Lord. And you darkness and light, O oh, bless the Lord. And you lightnings and clouds, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. O oh, let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you mountains and hills, O oh bless the Lord. And you all plants of the earth, O oh bless the Lord. And you mountains and springs, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you rivers and seas, O oh bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O oh bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you children of men, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. O oh, Israel, bless the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O oh, bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh, bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, bless the Lord. Ananias, his Aries, me say, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh, bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise for ever. Let us praise the Father, Mother, the Son, and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn to the Lord our God. Alleluia. And the third antiphon, Alleluia. The Lord has risen as he promised. Alleluia. And now we read Psalm 149. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. 
Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains to their nobles in fetters and their nobles in fetters of iron to carry out the sentence preordained this honour is for all his faithful and now we pray the Gloria Glory be to the Father, Mother God to the Lord Jesus Christ our Teacher to the Holy Spirit of God as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end Amen Alleluia, the Lord has risen as he promised. Alleluia. We have a scripture reading now from the Acts of the Apostles. God raised Jesus from death on the third day and caused him to appear. He was not seen by all the people but only by us who are the witnesses that God had already chosen. We ate and drank with him after God raised him from death and he commanded us to preach the gospel to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God has sent, the God who has appointed judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets spoke about him saying that everyone who believes in him will have his sins forgiven to the power of his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day which, is, which was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice and be glad. And the Benedictus Antiphon, very early on the Sunday morning, just after the sun had risen, they came to the tomb. Alleluia. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, I would like you to join me in the canticle of Zechariah, the beautiful canticle otherwise known as the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant as he promised through his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation, to the forgiveness of their sin, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death he will guide them to the way of peace and we pray glory be to the father mother god to the lord jesus christ our teacher to the holy spirit of god as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Very early on the Sunday morning, just after the sun had risen, they came to the tomb. Alleluia. And now we come to our morning intercessions. 
I would like you to share any requests that you might have. And if you choose to not leave them in the message board, then that's okay. Just lift them up to God in the silence of your heart and He will hear you. He will hear you. Let us pray to Christ, the author of life. God raised him from the dead and he himself will raise us to life by his own power, response. Christ, our life, save us. Christ, you are the light that drives out darkness and draws men to holiness. Let us make this day a living hymn of praise, response. Christ, our life, save us. Lord, you followed the way of suffering even to the cross. Grant that we may die with you and come to life with you. Response, Christ our life, save us. Our Master and our Brother, you have made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God, our Father, Mother. Let us offer you with joy the sacrifice of praise response Christ our life save us King of glory we look forward to the day of your coming then we shall see your face and share in your splendor response Christ our life save us and now we come and we remember each other we remember all our requests and intentions and first we remember our dear sister Miriam who early this morning or in the early hours of this morning in the UK dedicated her life to God in service as a novice of the Teo community of St. Francis. We accepted her offer and invitation and all we ask today is that the risen Christ will watch over dear Miriam, will guide her and protect her throughout her six month, her 12 months probationary period as a novice. We pray for Sister Eleanor and Elizabeth who were also present. And we thank God for their love and their commitment and continually ask God to bless them with abundance. We pray for all our members and friends, our benefactors, and we remember our enemies, because those who embrace the light inevitably attract dark energy, and that energy will seek to devour those who are weak and vulnerable and not committed. So on this Easter day, we remember them and we pray for their soul. Response, Christ our Lord, save us. We pray today for the whole family of God, of all faiths and none, that they will come back to their heart, that they will surrender their life to God, and in the silence, hear the voice of God speak to them as we do, And let us now pray for the whole family of God, for all God's children who are not in peace this Easter day. We pray for those in Syria that there will be healing and reconciliation between the two faction, factious groups in Islam, the Shiite and the Sunni. We pray for all in Afghanistan including Sister Sue's son. We pray today for all religious leaders of all faiths and none, that they will make determined efforts to unite each with each other and come and embrace one true loving God. And Sister Miriam has asked, for prayers for all those in the world in pain and suffering. 
all those suffering with mental afflictions. For you, dear Brother Sean, thank you, dear Miriam, and our sisters for the most beautiful ceremony this day. That was our gift to your heart from the Christ, dear Miriam, for we are all each other's brother and sister, and we are all called to be servants to the servants of God. We pray, yes, for all in the Teo community, past and present, but we pray today, especially for those who have no faith, no belief in anything. We pray for those who feel so alone and vulnerable, who are thinking of contemplating their life. We pray, we pray that someone nearby will come to them and offer them loving support. Excuse me. We pray today for our live stream channels, for this channel, Franciscan Soulmates for Peace, that we will continue with God's help each morning and evening and at midnight to come into the presence of God as God's children and offer joyful praise for global peace and into spiritual unity and for the needs of those who join us. We pray especially for our Doves for Peace channel on live stream, that the Lord God will share that with every child of God and draw them to come to listen and to take part. Let us bring all those who are in prison, who are on death row. Let us bring all those involved in the sex industry. Let us remember especially those who've been abused, traumatized and unable to think, to speak or to feel. Let us remember them. And now as we bow our heads, we ask Almighty God to bless each one of us, but especially ourselves, that the Lord Christ will come into our heart on this special day and touch us in his love. Amen. And now as we come together, we pray the Lord's Prayer. But we pray the beautiful version that Sister Miriam sent us from New Zealand. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God, in whom is Heaven. The hallowing of your name echo throughout the universe. The way of your justice to be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hearts we absorb from one another, forgive us. Sorry, in the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love now and forevermore. Amen. My dear friends, let us pray. On this day, Lord God, you opened for us the way to eternal life. Through your son, only Son's victory over death, grant that as we celebrate the feast of his resurrection, we may be renewed by your spirit and rise again in the light of life. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
your son, our teacher, our brother, who lives and reigns with you now and forevermore. Amen. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of our morning prayer of Lords on this beautiful Easter Sunday morning where the sun is shining, where the Lord's presence is around us. May today, tonight, be truly blessed for you. And now we say Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet, Bonam, Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, May the peace of Christ in all its richness bless you this healing holy day. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah. Paxet bonum. Om shanti. Solo de caritas. Peace. Have a beautiful rest, dear Sister Miriam. And for the rest of us in the European time zone, have a blessed day. And this evening, Sister Eleanor will be back at five o'clock with evening vespers. So for now, God bless you. God keep you safe and well. Amen.